Hello and welcome to JKK Mobile. This time I'm showing you how to add touchscreen to Asus EPC. So, what do you need? You need touchscreen panel. It just it is, it is just a plastic or glass panel with a touch sensitive layer on the top and uh, film cable coming from, from the side or from the top. There are many different models. The model you want needs to be 7 inch and uh, needs to fit on, on the ASUS EEE. I will post uh, exact numbers uh, but basically there are there is a nicely room available there so you may see that it actually can can be quite large compared to the uh, screen hole. Okay, then you need a USB touch controller which is now here. You can see this small PCB. Uh, again, there are many of those. I think you should buy uh, a kit touchscreen uh, USB kit so you get both of the controller and uh, the screen and uh, then it's easier for you to start testing and playing with it. Uh, as I told there are many different screens uh, or panels and controllers and there are also many different ways to do it. I'm now just showing how I did it uh, and uh, and I will I'll, I will go through that now. So, as you can see, I have installed the USB controller over there. There used to be uh, the left speaker, but uh, because I will be doing so many other stuff here, I just need more room. So that's why I choose to uh, put it there. I think uh, one good place uh, for it would be also down here if you are not planning to do uh, any other mods but uh, if you are planning doing some USB stuff uh, or Bluetooth or whatever uh, you may want to leave that open. There is also room under the SD card over there and uh, some room over here but uh, I'm just showing you now how I did it. So basically how how it works is that there's this controller, it's connected through the wires to the panel. I will show you the fire wires. There are typically there are four or five wire controllers and panels and this one is uh, four wires. So there's four wires. So you just connect connect the panel to the to the uh, USB controller and place the panel on top top of the EEPC -E -E screen and uh, I just used a small amount of double sided tape but uh, you want to put it there exactly on the center so like that it doesn't matter if it's like half a mil here or there because you, you will be calibrating it uh, anyway. Okay, so there's just a small amount of, uh, of double-sided tape there now. Uh, one thing before you actually install it, uh, you, you, you want to uh, clean the screen really carefully because uh, of course everything, uh, if, you, if you leave any dust or finger marks there, it will stay forever because it's under the touch panel, so clean it nicely. Okay, then I will put the cable back on and uh, as you might see I had had to actually extend the, the cables from the uh, controller because they were really short so when you are looking at the controller and pa panel try to find something with the, with the uh, quite uh, long cables or, or then uh, extend them by yourself. I extended the cable from here to here and I also soldered the cable straight to the controller because I wanted to make it as small as possible. 
when, when I bought it, it, it had uh, small connectors, but I wanted to take them away. Uh, I bought it a long time ago, so that's why I really don't have a link uh, where I bought it. I bought it from some uh, guy who only had this one, and it doesn't have any markings of, of the brand, so I really don't know which one it is. There, there are many, many of these that uh, looks, look exactly like this, so, so, uh, so there should be uh, plenty, of, plenty to choose. Okay, so now the, this is the easiest part. You just uh, put the uh, touch panel uh, to the uh, on the screen and then roll the cables from it. And then from the controller there there are uh, four or five five wires and uh, sometimes there is uh, five because there's double earth. So you need to know which wire is which. So you need to measure it or test it with a USB port. Typically, they come with a USB port, so a USB plug, so you can test it and measure which cable goes to where. And uh, again, now I'm showing you how I did it, but there are plenty of plenty of ways. I don't really use the webcam. I really don't, and uh, it's not that good quality anyway. So I actually used a webcam. Uh, USB port for for my my touchscreen and uh, but I only used the uh, USB uh, cables. I took the power from Earth and then from the positive five, which is uh, enabled only when a device is on. So you don't want to uh, solder the cables to the to the USB ports because th th well they would be really easy but you sh you shouldn't do that because then it will train the power all the time because the ports have power power even the device is in standby. Uh, again, I choose to do that because uh, I w <coughs> I, w <coughs> I will need the other places to other mods and of course the cabling is pretty easy from there. So. As I don't need the webcam, I I, will, I wanted to use this for that. So as you can see, USB cable power to the controller and then four wires to the panel. And that's it. Nothing special. Of course, you need to know how to open the device. There are plenty of sites showing how to do it. Also, you need to know how to solder. Also, you need to know uh, to check the right cables. And I cannot say which one is which, because uh, I, I don't know if you have bought the same, exactly the same uh, controller uh, as as I I have. And even if it looks the same, there might be differences. So really, be careful on that. Be careful on the, uh, with the, your mods. You don't want to break your your EPC. Okay, so now you know the hardware part of it. Then let's put it on. And uh, this one is something I I wouldn't ever s ever do if I were you. Don't attach your battery to your device if it's open. I want to play cool and do it still. So. I will show how the touchscreen actually works, uh, or how, is how it's calibrated. Just a second, I have to find my pen. Oh, it's here. So now it's booting up. As you can see, the boot, XP boot is quite okay. It's like 32 seconds or something. Okay, so so the uh, this touchscreen came with a with a uh, driver CD and uh, there is this uh, uh, controller utility w which lets you uh, calibrate the screen because first time if you if you tap anywhere it 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 goes uh, really weird it doesn't work from the start so you need to do calibration and uh, there's a button can you see it? Hopefully, press calibration, and then you can see the 
linking X's over there. Now first X, another corner, another corner, and the last corner. And that's it. Now the panel knows uh, where your uh, finger or, or where your uh, pen or stylus will be. So it, it will be accurate. That's how touch panel works. So now that you have seen how to install hardware, I will also read some comments uh, from my side. People asking, oh, Wi-Fi is not enabled and I don't have a keyboard attached. Okay, wait for a sec. Okay, let's go through some comments I haven't yet answered. So. Someone asked about uh, the resolution, so really th it doesn't matter matter what uh, what uh, what the seller is saying about the resolution because you will calibrate it uh, uh, on the end anyway. So really, really easy. Oh, battery life! It really didn't affect uh, any. Uh, I, I looked at the USB hub and it's saying it's a, a hundred millivolts, so uh, or milliampers. Well, anyway, it's uh, it's really nothing. So, no concerns there. Yeah, most of the uh, all the kids people are suggesting there uh, should work fine. Again, I will post the uh, exact sizes of the screens you you should use. Uh, and uh, this is as exact instructions I can because uh, all the all the touch screens are a bit different, like different cabling, different sizes of the PCB, you may need to find a different place for it or, or you may need or you may want to have a different place because you may want to keep your speaker. Will it work, work with Linux? Some of the controllers work fine with Linux. I don't know if this one works. I haven't tested and I I'm not even going to. Mm, will this one work? Yeah, I, I actually looked at link uh, before and uh, it should work fine. Yeah, no need for tremble as you saw. Okay, I think everyone is just asking for how to... Spell. Oh, drawing! So, uh, touchscreen is okay for drawing, so let's do some drawing. Uh, but you need a uh, good drawing uh, software. Uh, you need uh, something like Art Rage or, or something else. Uh, it's not as good as Active digi Digitizer, but uh, yes, you can draw some something with it. Uh, but it's all related to the software, not not the touchscreen. Actually, there are some nice softwares, and of course, uh, just like. Uh, any any drawing software, uh, it 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 will see it as a mouse, so it's it's okay. <laughs> yeah, surf model USB port for for webcam should do fine. There's no reason why not. Okay, then just a sec, I read some emails I I got about it, so. Okay, so back on. So uh, people were also asking about installing XP. I have a external uh, USB drive which I'm using. They are not that expensive. You should buy one if you if you're planning to use CDs. Then um, questions about if I would be willing to do this for uh, other people, and uh, my answer is sorry, not at the moment. I really don't have that, that much spare time um, and actually it's it's fun to do that and if you have any, any friend who, who can solder stuff uh, or, or, or knows anything about electronics this is, is relatively easy if you really don't know know anything and you don't have a have a uh, soldering iron or never done it then this is impossible I would say you shouldn't do it ask a friend uh, I, it's still a bit complicated. You really you have to cut the uh, right cables to right places, and you have to solder them well. You have to 
have to really be careful because you may break the whole device and, and you really don't want to do that. It's a great device so uh, don't break it. And uh, before you start, uh, think about uh, where you want to put it. Think about if you are going to do uh, any other mods, uh, think about that carefully because it's not fun to move it to another place then after a while. So really think about it carefully. Actually I think I will be moving this away from this location because I'm planning to put uh, a fingerprint reader there. So actually I think it's it's the easiest way to use the fingerprint reader. And of course because on the on the front there is no room to make it put it this way. I would have to put it this way and I I I think it's not good. So that's all for now. I hope you you uh, got everything you asked. I'm sorry if not. I will try to answer comments again and uh, I will post uh, pictures and the exact measurements of the panel uh, or the whole the area of the panel so you will you can easily then check that uh, the panel you you will be using a little bit. Okay, thank you. Next time, something else. Bye.